Do you have a bunch of digital photos just laying around on your computer? Stick around to learn the method I use to organize them. Hey guys, what's going on? Miles here with an all new photography video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my method for organizing digital photos and how this method can actually help you in post-production. Now, as always, before we dive into this video, if you have not done so already, smash that subscribe button down below and also click that notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. Alrighty guys, so starting off, the first thing I need to tell you is that I'm going to be performing this tutorial on my MacBook Pro back here. Now if you do not have a Mac and you are on a Windows PC, no worries, this method can be done on any type of computer. Just want to let you guys know that and get that out of the way, so if you see me using a Mac, don't worry, just follow the steps and you'll be all set. Alrighty guys, so let's dive into the laptop here. Now as you can see on the left, I have a main folder for my photos. Now I like to put all my photos into one location and it just happens to be under the pictures folder. So as we come in here, you can see that I have my photos broken down by the year. Now the reason I do this is because as my hard drive gets full and I need to start transferring off photos to uh, free up some space, what I like to do is I like to transfer off my oldest photos since I know I won't be needing those as uh, frequently. So for example, I took, just recently took off the 2018 to help free up some space for the 2020 photos. So that's just how I like to do it. Now let's come into one of these folders here. So if we open up the 2019, you can see then I have it broken down by the month in which I took the photos. So for example, if I come in here to my October folder, you can see that I have it then broken down by the day in which I took the photos. So I know on like the 12th, I was up in Munising on a vacation. So if I come in here, I can find all those folders quite easily. So this is just an easy way to find photos. Um, another example would be say like I need a fall photo for a client. I know that I didn't take a fall photo in May, I took it in, you know, September, October, November, right? So I can simply just come to one of these folders, click on them, and easily find photos that way. Um, another good example too is, I don't do this necessarily because I don't take that many client photos in one day, but if you did, you could even break it down even further. So say like you came into, I don't know, August here, right, and I came into the 30th. I could make multiple folders within here, say like, shoot, we can call the first one shoot one, right? And then maybe we make another one called shoot two. And I can break them down like that. So I can even go even further to help organize it. So you know you took a bunch of headshots one day, maybe you can break them down by the person's name within the day you took them. Or maybe you know you had a wedding. And in the morning you were taking photos of cars you can break them apart that way by naming the folders differently so here's another example of how this method can help you out if we come in here you can see that i have lightroom opened up and on the left i've actually imported that uh, file structure i had built with all the photos so if we take a look here i'm in the 2019 folder i'm under october and then i can select one of the days on which i took photos in october so if i select the 19th you can see that I actually have some photos of a local cider mill that I took, and it's super easy to find photos. If I wanna go back to, say, my Boston trip in August, I can come here, click on my August folder, and let's say, I know I was there on the 30th, I can click the 30th, and as you can see, here's Boston, some photos of Boston Harbor. So super easy to find photos with this method, and it makes post-production a whole lot simpler. Alrighty guys, so there is my method for organizing digital photos. Now as always, if you like these kind of videos and you wanna see more, smash that subscribe button down below, and also click that notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in the next video.